There we go. I think I'm up and running. Am I up and running? Okay. Well, it's been, uh, I guess, since November 3rd, it's been, wow. It's been, wow, 20 days since the election? Oh, my God. Anyway, so I've been asking myself, first of all, thank you for tuning in. I've been asking myself, what, what has happened to this country? I, I don't know, I don't know where I, where, where I am anymore. My head is cut off, As, I don't know. My head, my hair, my head is fine, How's it? Anyway, I don't, I don't know um, where I am anymore in the world. The country that I grew up in seems to be gone. Um, we've lost, let, let's forget about the election for a minute. We seem to have lost our way, and I don't know. I don't know how to get it back. There, there, there's no. I don't know who to believe. There's no honesty. There's no courtesy anymore. There's no respect anymore. There's no truthfulness. There's no. There's no. In, there's no integrity. What do you want me to do about it? Okay, my head's being cut off. Sorry, folks. This is what I'm doing. Um, there's nothing anymore. It's win at all cost. Who cares? And if we have to cheat, fine. If we have to lie, fine. Doesn't matter anymore. Let's whatever it takes for us to win. That's no matter what it is. That's what we're going to do. We are, we we have become a nation of. And I'm not saying all, but it seems that the people in power are all full of shit, all of them. And, I, I, and, I'm, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna get to this later, but not Trump, and I'm gonna to get to that later, I'm gonna tell you why. But wherever I look, I don't know who to believe anymore. The government, there's no government. It's just a bunch of people protecting their ass. And I'm, and I'm, I'm so fed up with it, I am so, look, I'm, I'm pissed, guys. I'm 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 upset with my with my country that my daughter is going to inherit. I mean, I'm 60 freaking years old. I don't have much time left on the planet, and she's going to inherit a, a, a cluster stup of of um of 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 a country. It's crap. It's gone to crap. You know, and I'm not saying all the people. But the people in charge are going, screw you, you're all on your own. Do what you want. No consequences, no crime. Crime doesn't mean anything anymore. Go ahead, go blow up buildings, go burn them down. Man, let them all out. Who gives a shit? That's what we've become. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what you do anymore. You can do anything. You burn down a building, rest you, take you, let you out the next day, and you go burn down another building, and you do it again and again and again and again. And that's what we've become. I, I'm, I, I don't even know where to, to, I don't know where to begin. I don't even know what to say about this anymore. It's, we've, we're insane. We're insane. We're, go, we're locking down again. And I don't know about your state, but I live in this re moronic, with this jerk off Governor Newsom, recall Gavin2020.com. If you live in California, please, please go to it. Let's get rid of this guy. He's locking us down again, but he can go and party at the French Laundry with no mask, no social distancing, do whatever the hell he wants. Us can't dine outside now either. Can't dine inside. Can't do a damn thing. We are locked down. He doesn't want Thanksgiving. I don't know if you saw the rules for Thanksgiving. I don't know if you saw them, but they're actually, it's a Saturday night live skit. The rules that this, this jerk off wrote. He's a schmuck and he's a moron. He's dangerous. And I can't believe he's a governor. He's related, and he's Nancy Pelosi, that other rat turd's nephew. But so, we're, how many times do we have to lock down to realize that it doesn't work? Masks. I'm sorry. You want to wear a mask? You wear a mask. 
I don't want to wear a mask. I'll take full responsibility for me and my family. I take responsibility for what I, how I live my life. I got people, if I'm sitting outside my buddy's house smoking a cigar, people see us and I'm not wearing a mask. They walk across the street. This is how sick we've become. This is how deranged these people have made us. It's a friggin' virus, like the flu. Do people die from it? Yes, and I'm sorry that people die from it. It's a virus. Like any other virus. And we are, who are we? Who, what, the, what have we become? We're the country that, that beat Germany and Japan. We sent people to the moon. There's nothing we haven't achieved in this country. And it's, and it's, we, we have formed the entire world. And, we, and we're, we're shut, we're, we're, what's, the, what's the expression they use? We're, we're uh, um, something at home, shackling, not sh whatever the hell it is. Uh, we're, I, and we're, we have to stay home. It's a, it's, a, it's a blanking virus that 99.5% of the people, if they get it, are fine. And I, 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 am so, I am so beyond frustrated that we're falling for this like a bunch of more, like, like, like mind rum, and not all of us, some of us are fighting back, thank God. But we walk around. Oh, the government says to wear a mask. Oh, we must wear a mask. People wear masks in their cars, driving by themselves. People wearing masks when they walk their dogs. There's nobody around them. No one. I drive by them. There's nobody on the street walking. Guy or a couple, both masks on, walking their friggin' dog. We are... They, we, We are, we are being sold a bunch of crap. It's crap. It's a virus. They don't want kids in school. 99.997 of kids that get the coronavirus, if they get it, 99.997 are fine. And maybe one fat kid with diabetes or whatever his problem is, out of a million or 10 million will die, God forbid, because he has an underlying condition. Old people, stay home. You get it. You don't want the flu? I don't want the flu. The, flu's, the flu can kill people, and it does. We are so insane. I can't even believe, I can't even believe I'm in America. I can't believe it. I have, I have a very good friend of mine in the hospital business, uh, administrator for a very big hospital with a chain of hospitals. And I talked to this person the other day. And this person said to me, there's nobody in the hospital. Nobody. No patients. And she went, his, this, she went to a very big um, hospital out here called St. Joe's in Burbank. In Burbank, California. She said she walked in the hospital. There was nobody. Nope. And she knows everybody. She said, where are all the patients? And the person said, there's no patients here. And if there is a patient, here's what they do. If there's one coronavirus patient and another one comes in, what do you think they say? The coronavirus cases have jumped 100%. Two people. That's what they do. That's what the government does. They want us so scared of each other. They don't want us celebrating Thanksgiving. They're not, wait till you see what they do with Christmas. Try to get rid of Christmas. You can't go to church, but you can go to a strip club. Do you know that? I don't know if that's nationwide, but it's here in California. You can't go to church, but you can go to a strip club because I guess that's an essential thing. You can't go to a vitamin store, closed, but you could buy marijuana. 
Who are we? Who are we? How, when do we stop it? Who are we? We're Americans, God damn it. And we, they've got us all bullshitted and afraid of a friggin' virus. And we, and I, I, I mean, I, guys, I'm, I'm sorry. You shouldn't I'm, have said God's name. I'm, I'm sorry I said GD. I don't believe you. All right, that. fine. I'm, I'm upset. I don't care. Yeah, I'm upset. So my wife is sitting here. Yeah, but don't. Oh, okay, I got don't, it, don't Renee. Curse, you're stopping my, my, my flow here. Yeah, but you're going to lose a lot of you Christian followers if you talk like that. Okay. Thank you. So we are just lost. We're just lost. Do whatever government tells you to do. Just keep on doing it. Wear a mask. You know how long the mask is? And, and Joe Biden? Joe Biden? <laughs> God help us. He's going to have a national mask mandate. Masks don't do anything. Is he going to give the 11 they, million illegals masks? They, I don't know what he's going to do. He's going to give it. He's going to give the illegals whatever they want. If he gets, if he becomes president, God forbid, or if Kamala becomes president, I'd rather have him than her. God forbid. God, he's not going to be president for very long. He can't. Can't. He, the, said it before. The poor man has early onset of Alzheimer's or dementia or something. He's not 100%. I've seen it. My mother had it. We've talked about this. But, folks, we've got to, we've got to, I don't know what to do. Get rid of these, vote these people. We keep voting for the same people in the same states. And then the people, this is what I don't get. This is, this is the one that drives me absolutely insane. People live in California. High taxes, high crime, um, illegals, homeless. Drugs, uh, I said high taxes. Um, a once magnificent state is now a cesspool. People shooting up drugs in the middle of the street, in the middle of the day, defecating on sidewalks outside of businesses, sleeping in people, whatever. whatever. Whatever you would see in a third world country is what LA has become. So people get sick of it and they'll move to Arizona or Texas or Idaho or Utah, where we're thinking of buying another home. Um, and they'll go there. Yeah, but we're Republicans moving to a Republican state. And these different. liberals will run away from here and go to that state and vote for the same type of people that made this place shit there. I, I, it, are you dumb? Are you stupid? Are you ignorant? Or is it deliberate? I don't know. You want to bring this cesspool there? Stay here. Stay here. It's easier. Less stress on you if, if you have to, if you if you don't have to move. It's less stress. Stay here. Stay in the dump. Let the good, decent people who want real change to go over there. Anyway. Well, that's why I said we're gonna we're thinking about moving to a red state, but we're red. We don't want to change right. what, we're, what we're, we're moving to. Listen, we're look. I'm as conservative as you can get. And so is my wife. I'm, I'm an independent I'm, that's conservative. Okay. Yeah. But we don't want to change. We don't I, want to change the state of Utah. Right. We don't want to change what, Utah like to be what California is. Right. But look, I'm, a, I'm as a conservative as a per, conservative a person as you're ever going to find in your life. I am so to the right, I'm almost off the cliff. But I don't care. You see, they, they've got they've got us so BS about what a conservative is. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you look like. I don't care what your lifestyle is. I don't care anything about how you want to live your life. As long as you're a good, decent person, you obey the law. That's all I care about. They've got us that we hate gays, we hate blacks, we hate Mexicans, we hate this. We're anti bigots, bigots, homophobics. I, I, I work in show business. 
my whole life. And I'm as conservative as you can get. And I like people. If you're good to me and my family, great. If you're not, then we got a problem. That's it. it. It's amazing to me. It's amazing to me how they have us painted as these absolute animals. And we are more open-minded times a million than they are, than the left. We are more caring than they are on the left, infinitely. Because rather than saying, oh, look at the homeless person. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, oh I'm a liberal and I feel so bad. As, or, hey, I feel bad for that person. I try to get him a job. That's considered mean. So I don't know what we do here in America. I really don't. In my opinion, now let's get to... Uh, I have a theory as to why some people hate President Trump. I have a theory. One, I think because he beat Hillary. They thought that was a slam dunk, but I think that's, I don't think that's all of it. Let me see if I can put this um, succinctly. As far back as I can remember, except for maybe Reagan. And I really wasn't that involved back then. As far back as I can remember, every pol uh, except for Reagan, I kind of remember Carter, nah, not really, I was a kid, but every politician that we've ever heard speak, after they gave a speech or after they answered questions, it was always, what what they say? What 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 did what did that mean? I, uh, oh, what, we're we're doing what? And this has gone on for since since Reagan. So what's that? Nineteen eighty eight, thirty two years. And now we get a guy in there. That you ask him a question and he says, black or white? And I think people go, oh, whoa, wait a minute. That's not, that's not nice. That, that's not who, that's not what America, we're not, we're not supposed to talk directly to each other because we've been BS for, for 30 years. And here comes a guy who puts it right in your face and you can't deal with it. Or uh, I can, I loved it. I want the truth. I want to hear somebody talk to me like I would talk to them. And I think, I think that, I think that's that, that people hated him for that, and and his and his and the and the people in his own party hated him for that because he was telling you where it was at. You know, yes, President Trump. What time is it? He goes, yeah, it's twelve thirty. You ask another politician, what time is it? Well, you know, if it were an hour from now. It would be 12, 1 30, but it's not an hour from now. It's it's for only but in 45, you know, and you go like, what the hell are you talking about? What time is it? And that's all he did. Just told you straight, and you and the and and the things that this man has done for this country, and we and trying to steal it on him. If you don't think that being it's being stolen, then, then you then, then you're not even paying attention. Did you know that? I just heard this. You ready for this? And the media, too, was, hates him because he doesn't speak like a politician. I don't know if you're aware of this. Did you know this? 36% of the people that voted for Joe Biden, if they had known about the Hunter Biden story, wouldn't have voted for him. 36%. They, they, I just heard it this morning. Who knows if that's true. low information voters? No, it's not. It's no information voters. Nothing. The the, the Tony Bobolinsky. Yeah, but why didn't why didn't this come out before if they'd already had Biden's uh, Hunter Biden's you, computer now, from now, over a year ago? I mean, now you're getting into the deep state they because the media are in on the fix. The media is the virus, in my opinion, and the reason mm -hmm. why both parties hate Trump is because he he was going to swamp. No, no, he doesn't owe any backdoor favors for special interests. Both parties have, 
have become so corrupt because of special interests and they've got too much dirt on them, okay. you know, like Romney and all these other people that um, Trump doesn't, he, he doesn't owe anybody any favors other than he's wanting to okay. fight for the American I, people. I, I agree hundred percent. That's so, why everyone hates him. So, well, I think there's a lot, well, that, I think the big reason is because he, he just speaks right to it and they can't stand. And, and the other part that I don't get is why, why his, why his political party hates him. They've been promising for ever what he's delivered on. And they hate him. Listen, all of I'm, Biden's I'm, talking, I'm, all of Biden's talking points. Whenever he stood up, you know, to the car lot, um, you know, where the circles painted in the on the, on yeah, the pavement, every single talking point he had were things that Trump has already done. Yeah, I know. We all we, that that yeah. It's just so. Now, now this, and I'm, and I'll, and I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to wrap it up here. We are to believe. Very good point, Renee. We are to believe that this election was 100 percent legitimate. That's all the news media keeps saying. That's all the print media keeps saying. They don't want Trump in there because they fear him. We are to believe this. Or if you don't believe it, you're a nut. There was cheating. To what extent? I don't know if you listen to Sidney Powell. Listen to Lynn Wood. It's pretty bad. But we're to forget, so forget the cheating though. For the, let, let's say, let's say, and, and I, no, I can't even say let's say it was legitimate. And here's why it's not legitimate. Are you are we to believe that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, who Nobody voted for the Democrat primary. She left before a single vote was cast. Kamala Harris. She left. Couldn't raise any money. Couldn't run a campaign. Gone. Joe Biden, who was on fumes, all of a sudden wins the primaries? A man who can't speak? You see him a couple of days ago? Can't speak. You can't put more than two sentences together. That's a fact. It's not being mean. That guy who there was zero excitement for um, would have six cars show up at a rally to honk the horn if they agreed with him. Six, maybe ten. People walk around the background of his, of his um, campaign rallies shopping, didn't care. A guy who spent 50 years as a senator and did absolutely nothing. A guy who plagiarized, lied, any other, not crime, but any other bad kind of politician thing you could think of did was gone for most of the time in his basement, gone. Would put a lid on his campaign at nine o'clock in the morning, took no questions. Nobody knows where he stands on any issue. That guy, 78 years old, beat the human wrecking ball, Donald Trump. Donald Trump who got 10 million more votes than he did in 2016. Donald Trump, who outperformed every other Republican in minority turnout. How, women, did, how did Biden get more votes than Obama? They, because he didn't. Women turnout. A guy who would go to rallies and have 55,000 people show up in the cold. And by the way, when you go to a rally, it's not like you walk, drive, it's not like you drive, walk a few feet and go in. It's the whole day. You got to go through all kinds of screening to get near the president. 55,000 people, 30,000 people, 20,000 people outside. I've, and I've never seen this rallies in California, in Los Angeles. I've never seen that before. Joe Biden beat that guy, a guy going into election day who had a 52% approval rating which is almost unheard of. A guy who had a 
who's um, um, the question asked, are you better off now than when you were four years ago? 50, 56% of people said they were better off than they were four years ago. Joe Biden beat that guy? Well, Scott, um, Scott, listen, forget all of that. Explain the math. How can the state of Michigan have more votes coming in than they do registered voters? And why isn't CNN and MSNBC and all of these, even, even Fox, all, why are all these liberal media uh, networks looking at that? Do they think that we're that dumb they, that you don't see? They don't care. They don't care how smart you are. They could not care less. They just want Trump out. Trump called them all out for what they are, liars and frauds. Well, when you've got Hillary, Hillary Clinton saying, don't Joe concede, Biden, don't no concede what, no matter what. Because the fix was in. And, and you have Nancy Pelosi saying she guarantees that Joe Biden will be yeah. the 46th president right. of the so, United States. Listen, if you don't think there was fraud in this election on a massive scale, then you're an insane person. Whether or, not they, whether or not they can prove it, I don't know. But everything I just laid out for you and more, Donald Trump won this, won this election in a landslide, period. They, they stopped. They, on every single election since we, in, in this country, since I've been around since the, since the beginning of time, they, um, oh boy. Take a call. Who is it? It's the school. Oh, no. Can you go get it, please? Hold on, guys. Hey, Heather? Oh, Katina, can, can you hold? Can you hold on one second, please? My wife's going to pick up. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh. Um, this to answer her question. They, they, every, every, oh, every election that we've had, you knew that night, except for. 2000 with, with Al Gore, but that was, that might have been a Dominion thing too. I don't know. You know, that night, 2016, we knew this, this, this election, they shut down the county. They call um, uh, Arizona, like one of the first states. Why would you stop counting? Because they, they said there was a, a water main break in Georgia. You know what the water main break was? Men's room toilet overflow. And this is this is what we're doing. So listen. Continue to support the president, Trump. It ain't over. There's something. Listen, I, this guy, this guy. Every single time I thought, oh crap, they got him. Every time he would do something or say something, I'd go, oh, wow, why would he do that? Nope, changes it. He has a reason to everything that he does. And is he the smartest guy in the room? Probably. Is he smarter than them? Absolutely. Does he have something up his sleeve? I'm sure, or else I don't think he'd be going to this extent. I really don't. I think, he, if, he, I think if he felt he genuinely lost, he'd say, okay, Thank you for letting me serve you, and God bless. I think that's who the guy is. But he believes that there's something going on, and I believe there's something going on, and I know you believe it too. Lynn Wood and uh, Sidney Powell, I think something's going to happen. And this whole Kraken thing, at least the Kraken, I don't know who came up with that or whatever, but just keep be informed. Um, stay with it. Until the end, because he was there for us. Guy fought for us every day. We could stay with him. All right. Wait, are you gonna take any questions? No. I don't see any questions. Well, you haven't asked. Can I anybody have any questions? They go so fast. Well, I'm can't. gonna slow it down from mine. I just can't to kind see. of look if um... I got my hair cut short. Do you like it? Sorry if I was aggravated, folks. I can't. I, I just The Cuomo in New York wins an Emmy. <laughs> so Obama won the Nobel Peace Prize for something. What? Cuomo wins an Emmy for his handling of the coronavirus press conferences. What the blank are we doing in this country? 
The guy's a nut. He put sick people into nursing homes. I'm sorry to laugh about it. He killed people, old people in nursing homes. <laughs> and he's getting the dead Emmy. I am, I am so, I, here's the world. That's it. Like a snow globe. It's upside down. And, and Trump was, Trump was, was doing this. And they cheat and they're trying to, and then now the fight's on. I am so, ins- I, am so I, I feel like I'm the insane person. I feel like maybe I'm crazy, but I'm fairly logical. <laughs> anyway, all right. People want to know what you think about Lindsey Graham. Is he being uh, genuine and but, sincere or is he, is, is he like. What did he do? Or you think he's. Um, what did Lindsey Graham do? They just want to know where you think about him. I like Lindsey Graham. I, he was there for the president a lot, especially with the judges. I, I like Lindsey Graham a lot. I don't know what he's saying now. I mean, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what he's saying now. That's it. One question. Uh, uh, no, well, do you, so do I want to run for office? It's so funny. You know, I gave Mitt Romney a lot of money. And you raised a lot of money. And I raised him. a lot of money. I, spoke, I gave a speech for him at some place out here in L.A. But you raised over a million dollars. And this guy turned out to be a wet noodle and never Trump. Or, and Trump got him elected, by the way. Trump vouched for Romney. And this is how he gets paid back. Oh, just just go away. Just, just go away. You lost. Go away. You lost. You know, I, have a, I really do have a good mind to go there and try to get rid of this guy, uh, Mitt Romney. Well, we're looking at homes. Um, so I might, I don't know. Um, I, I'm contemplating it seriously, uh, looking to move out of state because, you know, I don't hang out at strip clubs. So it seems to be the only business open and I don't smoke pot. So there's no, no place for me to go, really. Um, anyway, any other questions? Why are you the only celebrity that's awake? Oh, because it's twelve forty-two. No, afternoon. you're the only you, you're the only one with a cojones no, to that's, speak out loud. That's not true. Jimmy Wood speaks out. Um, John Voigt speaks out. There's a lot of guys that speak out, but um, I, I don't want to give a list of them. Dean Cain, Christy Swanson, they all they all throw it out there. But I am I'm just I'm just upset. And and one last thing. And let me tell you how invested I am. I sacrificed my career for Donald Trump. I did. With no regrets. Because I believe in the guy. And I believe in what he was trying to do and what he, what he has done. I believe in him. And I still believe in him. Through all of it. Will he run in 24 if this goes south on us? I don't know. If he does, I'm there. But I believe in the guy. And I said this in 2016. I, I, I was lucky enough to get on the phone with Rush Limbaugh. And he said, how long are you going to stick with him? I said, I'm with him. The Congress is my problem. Paul Ryan at the time, that, 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 that cat poop. Um, phony. But we live through a small taste of what President Trump and his family lived through. I mean, we got death threats. You got yeah. you and Bailey got physically and verbally assaulted at our school holiday program mm-hmm. by someone. You got falsely accused by someone. I mean, we've lived it every yeah. single and a, day and on a very small mar- margin of yeah. what the pr- President Trump. I, lives. Yeah, we did, and I'm and I'm not saying that for any other reason. That's true. I sacrificed my, and I knew I was. And it's okay. It's go my again. My time is short here. My kid. Let's pray that we get this thing done. Let's not give up on the man. Thank you for listening. And happy Thanksgiving. A happy. Thank you. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving. If I don't talk to you, have a wonderful Christmas. Sing, pray, eat, and be with your family. Yes, and, and have, have as many people over your house as you possibly can. Yes. If you're in California or any other state. Have all your neighbors. And play cards and turn off the television. And yell and sing because we're not allowed to do that in California. I don't know if you're aware of that. Yeah. Play board games and cards and don't watch the news. Just let me give you some. If you're not in California, let me give you some of what we have to do in Dalgo. No more than 
10 people. They can't stay more than two hours. They lowered it to six people, oh, by the way. No more than six people. You, 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 you can't stay more than two hours. You can't yell or sing. You have to wear a mask between bites. You have to eat outside. The same um, person has to prepare the food. The one, one person has to prepare the food and, and serve, serve it. it. And if you use the bathroom, you have to disinfect it. This is what we're headed for if we don't get rid of these sick people. God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving.